Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Jason from uh, No Code VA. I'm just doing some work for a client um, on Airtable and Zapier, and I thought it'd be an opportunity just to show some real-world cases of why you would use these two products. So, the scenario here is that um, people are booking on uh, courses, so the online courses were taking bookings, and um, the way that's done is the booking is done through an Airtable form, so something like this and um, they fill in the information and they, and they book on the course. Um, the information comes into here. And then when the course is um, finished, they're marked, a register is done basically. So they're marked, did they attend? Yes or no? When, they, um, when they're marked as yes, then it sends a feedback form to them, which looks like this. So then they're requested to fill in information about the course they attended. And then the information from the form goes into Airtable here. And um, this then triggers um, Zapier, an automation. So think of this as just a line in a spreadsheet that has been entered in. So what we have then is we have um, a seven-step Zap that then deals with this. So first of all, it's triggered when... Um, any lines, new lines, go into the feedback table that we just looked at. So let's just run through this. Uh, we can get that example. So I'm just going to load through what's in the table now. So we can see in here, this relates to the feedback that has just been entered into here. So we can continue. So what it does then, it evaluates to see if this course requires the certificates, because some of the courses that they deliver don't have certificates. Uh, so it evaluates to see if this course should have a certificate. And in this instance, it does. So it would continue. Then we use something called PDF Monkey, which is just a web service that enables you to create PDFs um, automatically. And it's free to use for so many documents, uh, maybe 100 a month or something like that. Um, so we have a template in there, certificate. And then what we do, we overlay the information we have. So let me just run that and I will show you the example. So remember, all this will be happening automatically. I'm just running these steps at the moment just to show you. So it's generated a certificate. And if we just go to have a look what that certificate will look like. So it has the um, course that it's picked up. It has my name and the rest is just the template that it's laid on top of. So we've generated that. It then goes on and it finds a bit of additional information in Airtable. So the email address and things to send the certificate to. And then this is something that uses mail send. So it's basically sending an email with the new attachment on. So we're going to test that. OK, we'll come back and check that email in a minute. It then takes the file. So um, it takes the file that we created, the PDF that we created in step three, and it drops it into a folder in here. So we've got a copy of all the certificates that have been sent. And then finally, it just updates Airtable to say that this process is finished and that the client has been sent the certificate. So what that looks like then um, from the client end, if we click on here, we can see this is what was generated from the automation. So congratulations, you did it. And then a little button in here that downloads the certificate that we generated. So yeah, just to recap, we're waiting for information to come in here from a form that we sent out from a previous automation. Um, Zapier sees that row go into the table. It evaluates to see if it needs a certificate. It then generates a certificate. It finds a Additional information in their table. So this is just finding um, more information, the course information, so we can put on the, um, sorry, it's finding the email so we can send the email. And then we're sending the email with this action. We're then taking the um, this file that we created here, this PDF certificate, and we're putting it in Dropbox. And then we're updating to say that it's finished. So that's just, just a seven step zap that automatically happens. Um, that can save a lot of time and work. And um, yeah, so all you have to do is if people attend the course, you mark them as attended, and then this is triggered. So this is the kind of thing you can do very easily, very quickly.
um, and saves lots of time. So hope that's useful. Um, we'll do some more of these as I'm building um, real world uh, automation. So you get an idea of, you know, what, what we use them for and how you can use them. So yeah, hope that's useful. Thank you.